Welcome to the Hot Docs Basic Training from the Center for Access to Justice and Technology at Chicago Kent College of Law. This training provides a brief introduction to the Hot Docs environment. You will learn the basics of using Hot Docs to automate PDF and RTF forms. Topics covered in this guide include terminology, the different parts of the Hot Docs software suite, variables, the Hot Docs developer window, the PDF automator, and working with Hot Docs in Microsoft Word. This guide is accompanied by a name change petition exercise seen here. Part 1. Terminology. What do we mean by automated documents? During the course of your project, you will set up a static PDF or RTF form to accept variables from A to J author. HotDocs will accept the values assigned to variables in A to J author and fill in the corresponding variables on the form. You are setting up your document so that HotDocs will fill it out once the corresponding A to J interview has been completed. The user will then have a printed form that is completely filled out and ready to be filed with the court. Some terms that we will use in this class include template, which refers to a PDF or RTF form to be automated with HotDocs. The form open here is an RTF. It opens with Microsoft Word. This is a PDF open in the HotDocs order. Field refers to an area where a variable will be filled in on the form. Here's a field on this HPT, and here's a field on an RTF. A variable holds a data value that can be text, date, number, computation, multiple choice, or true-false. The values held by variables are used to fill in your form. All the yellow fields you see here contain variables. A conditional statement, also referred to as an if-else statement, is a programming construct that selects a specific output from two or more possibilities based on conditions that you specify. For example, you could use a conditional statement to look for a specific value held by a variable, or whether a variable is answered. A repeat loop runs through a series of questions multiple times, assigning values to the variables in each run-through of the loop. Variables used in loops hold multiple values, specific to each run-through of the loop. A master file is tied to a component file that contains all of the variables used in a project when you use multiple forms within the same project. Part 2. Familiarization with HotDocs files and software components. During the course of your project, you will work with several different file types. An RTF template refers to a rich text format file and it opens with Microsoft Word. An HPT template is a PDF that has been automated with HotDocs. It opens with the HotDocs PDF Automator. A component file has the file extension .cmp. This contains all of the variables that are used with the template that has the same name. Component file opens with the component manager, but it will be automatically opened whenever you open a template that is tied to a component file. A HotDocs library file points to all the templates and components used in your project. It is useful for organizational purposes only. The library file contains file paths for your templates that are specific to the computer it was created on. If you share your project with other people, you do not need to give them this file. There are four main components to the HotDocs software that we will use in this course. The HotDocs developer is the piece of software that has the little blue D in the corner. You can find it under all programs, Hot Docs, Hot Docs Developer. The developer is used to create a library file that contains file paths for all the templates used in your project. You also use the developer to share a component file between multiple templates. That's setting up the master component file that we talked about earlier. Although you will not be uploading your projects to the national server personally, this will be done by your client organizations, this process is also completed from the developer window. The HotDocs PDF Automator is used to create automated PDF forms. The default file path for this piece of software is all programs, HotDocs, HotDocs Automator. The HotDocs toolbar for Microsoft Word is used to work with RTF files within that software. If you do not see this toolbar at the top of your window when you open an RTF file in Word, it's probably because your component file does not have the same name as the RTF or because the component file is missing. 
If you still do not see the toolbar at the top of Microsoft Word, go to Control Panel, Programs, Programs and Features, Hot Docs, and click Change. Click Next, select Modify, and click Next again. Make sure that the Model Document Authoring Toolbar is installed. If it is not, install it and click Next. The Component Manager is used to edit component files. You can create, rename, and delete variables from the Component Manager and even copy variables from one component file to another. 